In this video, for the Ubuntu users, I'm going to show you how you can fix if you get an error message trying to download the newest firmware. And if you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below that shows you a two methods for fixing this problem. Yesterday, which was September the 5th, 2025, I went to download the updates for my system and I got a particular error message when I tried to use the system administration and then choose the software updater. It gave me an error. It actually tried to get the updates, but then it come it said to check your internet connection. So then I opened up my terminal and I did the sudo update, uh, sudo apt get update, and then sudo apt upgrade and it came up with a uh, not necessarily an error message it tried to do download the most current Linux firmware and there's the actual firmware that it was trying to download and it was downloading less, less than dial-up speed like six kilobytes or 6.6 .6 kilobytes per second and as you can see after it had downloaded 37 percent I let it download for quite a while went back to check on it and it still said it had 11 hours 54 minutes and 39 seconds and I thought normally I can update that less than a, a couple minutes so I look for a solution and I found two solutions that work so if you're trying to get an update from Ubuntu and you're not getting those or if, or if you're getting an error or you're getting a slow connection like I did you can try either one of these methods and method one is what I tried but method two would also work as well the first thing you want to do is to close this terminal where it's downloading slowly so you close the terminal and then you reopen the terminal up and instead of using the default uh, settings and in my case uh, it was the United States was where I was getting my uh, updates from and I'm going to show you here it's fixed as well while that's getting uh, its updates or looking for updates I'm going to go to software and updates and I'm going to close this back here in the background not close it minimize it so you can see that it's it currently has all the updates and in a few seconds it'll come up with the updaters well there's some updates here and while that's while I'm looking, I'll go ahead and say install these updates uh, while I'm showing you how I fixed it. Uh, the second method for installing it is by bringing up your software and updates. Go to the Ubuntu software, and where it said downloading from, it was downloading from the server of the United States, and that's the server that was slow. Another way you can fix that, and I, as you can see, I changed it. You can go to other, and you can scroll down in the United States. You can choose another mirror from the United States. Uh, and if you're in the United Kingdom uh, and you're having that problem, you can click here. In any other country that you're from, you can click on your country and choose a different connection that you are connecting to, and that will help it connect much faster, or it did in my case. Another way of bringing up the software and updates is by clicking on the settings button, and that will bring it up as well here's the way I fixed it without using the software and updater I opened up my terminal and once I had my terminal up I simply just copied this command right click copy paste it into my terminal and then press the enter key and once it finished downloading I then copy to install this on my system by just right clicking copy paste it into there and then when it finished it had downloaded and installed it on my system then I rebooted my system and then when I checked the updates it no longer needed it so that is method one here by using the terminal method two is what I just showed you by going to your software and updates clicking on the Ubuntu software tab clicking the drop down menu and as you can see by default it was set for server for the United States and that was their server that was slow and I changed it to this server you can change it to whatever server that may be closest to you and then that should fix your problem now that's for this particular current firmware in the future it may be any of the Ubuntu security updates so you should be able to do this if it's for one particular server that it's slow on hopefully this will help someone and have a great day